Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other- Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have card, um, just kind of the music videos I've been missing. Um, this is mainly because, um, I like card. Uh, I, I kind of like, because of their lack of comebacks, um, it was more like a casual interest, and I mainly like a handful of songs, and it's been a while since I really, like, listened to Card, not gonna lie, but I will say, I've always thought they were an interesting group. Might have also add, I always mix up the girls, and since it's been so long, I definitely don't remember. Um, I can only like, probably tell, of course, uh, B.I. and, uh, B.I., oh my god. BM and Jacef apart, but yeah, the girls I'm definitely not going to be able to do. But we are going to be doing cake dance practice without you, Icky, and then BM's lie, Lost in Euphoria, just because might as well add that in here. Um, so yeah, let's just hop into the video. Oh, you don't see me. I'm way I'm sorry. He threw it back. Look at the difference between Joseph and BM. I mean, to be fair, Joseph's wearing like a jean jacket. It's hard to tell. This is the one I like. I forget her name though. I forget which one it is, but I like her. I would laugh because they're friends. Like, I would just find it funny to do like a sexual dance with a friend. Ooh. What does this mean? Like, I can't, I couldn't take it serious. Enjoy the thrill of we know from Kajaka and Mip, but you track and it's in zone. Oh, shoot. Oh, they don't care. They don't care. Joseph came back from the military and they were all like, fuck it. People think we're screwing each other anyways, might as well just do a dance practice with it. I literally think that's what they just said. Because everyone just assumes they're all dating. So like, let's just go for it. I mean, they've already kind of done partner dances, but... I think this is the most extreme one. This is the benefit though. I mean, the same sex you can still do in these dances, but like... Oh shoot, I love the cut the guys. I mean, they're doing traditional like male female roles here. I say that when they just did something very inappropriate, but you know what I mean. Um, 
but the guys i always say this i'm um, like in gogo baby and stuff like i just like when the guys also do the more i guess you would say like uh, feminine moves like i don't know like this part particularly isn't very like feminine or anything but like it's more tri like i don't know I, I don't listen to a lot of male performers in america like guys will take off their shirts but like there's something more feminine about like the way they like lift their shirts there like it's something like more sexy more like teasing which is usually given to a more female or like feminine submissive type role and like they're really like, strip teasing a bit and they're like moving their hips i guess i guess like i guess guys do that in strip clubs like male strip clubs but male strip clubs, I don't know, there's like male strip clubs for girls, right? Most male strip clubs I hear of are like gay strip clubs. But I'm sure there's like, like matching mics, so yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I just thought this was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they did the, uh, the move down there when earlier the guy did it. Like, BM and Joseph. Do they get, like, are they, like, kind of how Hossa and Jesse and all of them are kind of shamed uh, for being very sexual? Card's been kind of sexual in nature, like, in some things early in their career. Were they ever, like, ostracized for it? Like, is this, like, were they given flack from this? I'm wondering. No, like, BM was kind of just... That's exactly what I just said. That's exactly what I was saying. That's kind of like a better broken down way of describing what I was trying to say. Anyways, that was cool. Dang it, why is that weird? This is okay. Oh, did I say that I was rapping them? Oh, I'm on Patreon. I watch Super TV, and in October is Cards episode, and I realized I was behind on Card stuff, and I was like, well, even though this is old, I kind of just want to like still jump into some of their stuff that came out recently. So if you want to join, that's the only card video that's going to be on Patreon, but there's a lot of other groups and stuff. In the last song, no, no, did did BM have a rap? I felt like I remember J Sock's rap. No, I think BM did have a rap at the end. Are J Sock and BM close? 
and then like they don't have a boy group. I feel like card works differently. I feel like Jason and BM personalities feel so different. This is a fun song. It's cute. It's cute. I like the rapping. Don't, okay, so that's exactly it. Like, I don't love, like, that's why I couldn't get into them heavily. It's because I don't love tropical house music, like tropical pop. Um, and I respect they still keep the genre because they definitely debuted during the era of, like, tropical house music that, like, took over. Um... But like, I don't know, I just don't love that sound, which is why I only like like maybe like half their songs. Um, but I mean, this one will probably go in the playlist at least. Like I wasn't like, I like the rapping, the vocals were nice. What the fuck is that, rats? It's called Vicky for a reason, I guess. Um, I liked Cake more. Oh. Oh, that looks fun. I'm gonna get down. I'm gonna get down. I need to get her name. Is it Chiwu? I think it's Chiwu. Did BM teach Joseph English? Oh, apparently, Sumin is a distant relative of Jung Yun, which is interesting. I think Jiwoo. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. So right. Yeah. 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 Okay. So they're gonna be on the Super Junior Super TV episode that we're gonna watch in October on Patreon. And they are, I remember, they were in Lo Siento, which Lo Siento came out before the Super TV, so they're already friends. Dang, I kind of wanted them to not be, just because I thought it'd be kind of cool to see. But I forgot Lo Siento came out already. Um, I'm assuming red hair is Jiwoo. And this is something. Icky Vicky, let's go. So mix this with Icky Vicky. Icky Icky. Oh. Oh my man, let's go. I like this as well, personally. I consider him my favorite member. I just like his tone and his delivery. She reminds me so much of Dami from Dream Catcher. This is a crazy video. What, what happened to their budget? They were like dancing on cardboard. And without you, they were dancing on cardboard with some like fake plants. Like, what, what happened? 
what happened between this and then? How did we get here? This was like a month or two later. I don't understand. Icky, 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 icky. They should dress up as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Since they're out here with rats and in the sewers. Look, it's our Instagram man candy. I will objectify his body. He, he's giving us the mission. I'm gonna cry. It, that threw me off so bad. I can't. I shouldn't rewind it. It's gonna throw it off even more. I can't. That threw me off so much. What? That has nothing to do with the rest of what we're doing. Yeah, you just slipped that in there. Oh. We gotta go on. We have to exit. I'm gonna cry. That threw me off so much. Oh my god. Why do you. God is dialing, mommy is wild, and body terrorizing, give you what you've been desiring. <laughs> I can't get over it, he just said that. I can't get over it. I'm, that was hilarious. That was so funny. Oh. Someone looks so pretty on that scene. Kiss. Oh. Okay, oh, you know what? Maybe the, the lyrics were that. <laughs> I just wasn't putting it together that way. See, I like the guys are doing like little hip things. You know what? I I don't see his lyrics. So I got that. It's just. <laughs> See these were these lyrics. I couldn't. I couldn't decipher what he was trying to say here. So I'm gonna go like a closed book mystic. Okay. You were Buffett's buffet's pick. Buffet's pick. I'll get the blue chip. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I feel like it's like video game references or something. The first one's bucket list. I know that means rather than romantically appealing. Okay. I just wasn't. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I don't listen or pay too much attention to the lyrics. Y'all gotta. <laughs> so we uh, we all agreed. This has to be the most replay part. It's not? What's the most replay part? Fair enough. I can't get over that. Like, that's top 10, not best, most interesting K pop lyrics I've ever read in my life. Like, top, top five. Top five. There's one that threw me off a lot too, but I don't remember what it was. There's one that's Treasures lyrics who are infants. Where's the infants? Infants, my infants, that I don't know if they knew what they were saying, but it sounded very dirty and they were like minors. So not only was it the most interesting, nasty lyrics, but like 14 year olds were singing it. So it was like, whoa. So there's that. Anyways, that threw me off. Oh, bad. I, I, it's stuck in my head now. <laughs> I can't. He said crazy stuff. They said no lyrics for him. It's hard for me to take him seriously sometimes. That's his uncle. I am just blaming. 
Everything I say is to the grave Yeah, it's to the grave They're telling you lies I'm so glad I'm still alive I'm so glad I'm still alive I like this one to do all English, so I'm actually surprised. Who did that? That's not one of my girlies. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing I like his voice better a lot. I like him a lot, but like his voice I prefer a lot. It's kind of how I feel with Felix and Fragrance. Because he has a specific type of delivery he does. And he goes for that, like, extra grungy white vocals. Which I'm not, like, a big fan of. Is this some, like, Sharp Boy and Lava Girl editing? What? What? Both the rockets here. I think that's like just green screen. They gave my, my, my dude two rooms, a hallway, and a green screen. And said, go for it. I respect it. He, he does thing. That's strangely just a bop to me. Like, I feel like I usually probably wouldn't love this because it's very simple. But the music, like, instrumental is my style because it's pretty simple. I don't, I'm, I'm like sick of the deep voice rappers. And by deep voice rappers, I mean the guys who have a deep voice, but then they make it like raspy, husky, kind of like, <sighs> like they go like that. But you hear when they talk that they don't sound like that. Um, I think the closest to actually sounds like his rap voice is Mingy from 80s. I actually think because his, his talking voice is a bit raspy as well. But like Felix, he has a deep voice, but my man's voice is smooth like chocolate. Like it's not like gruff and... Um, wait, wait. <clears throat> Looking like a chef, I'm a five star. He don't talk like that. He don't, he don't talk like that. He talks soft. So when he released a song of him singing, I was like, yes, that's my boy. That's Felix. Just because your rapper can do a deep voice doesn't mean they always should. And I feel like BM is, I'm not going to say suffering from that because it works for them. Like, I'm not saying they're doing it wrong. I'm saying I don't love it because it feels very, hello, stick to the status quo where it's like ever since Big Bang and Top, I feel like everyone thinks they need to do, uh, I think it's like in the quota, like I think it's literally listed in a specifically male group where it's like one high nasally rapper and one husky low voice rapper like i think it's literally listed somewhere in contracts like th this is necessary this is the quota <laughs> because every male group has that i think there's like a few that don't and i love that like crabby and stuff and they sound great but bm kind of to me just always feels because like, i've heard him talk he has a deep voice but like i said it's similar to like felix where it's like to me it doesn't sound very also i, I love that i remember him reacting to felix's voice it's funny it just clicked in my head he don't he doesn't like talk in the way he raps and i know people are gonna be like well not singers don't talk the way they sing they kind of do <laughs> at least the singers i've seen 
I am I think for the most part they actually do so I don't know what you're talking about but like I don't know like I said it's an artistic thing so like it, it's not wrong for them to do it I just prefer when like because it, it just feels, it feels very performative and then everyone starts sounding the same because once you like do a deep voice you're kind of just your voice is can only go so deep so everyone kind of starts sounding similar and all songs start sounding uh like they start sounding like templates <laughs> like insert high-pitched rapper insert low-pitched rapper insert chorus chorus no bridges these days you know um so yeah that's just my opinion but i actually really like the song i think it was really good i think it's because his voice was it the whole time and you can hear his different ways of singing and rapping and stuff but i'll see you guys in the next video bye